Hey everyone, Tragic here, and today I had something really special planned for you all. I was going to open up these two packs of Legends just for fun, but then I realized that earlier today I got spray paint all over my hands and uh, probably shouldn't be opening up $800 packs of Magic the Gathering um, with messed up hands, so sorry we're not doing that today. Instead, we're going to be doing the next best thing, which is of course 80s non sports entertainment movie cards i know you're excited let's get into these right now uh, let's start with et and uh we'll work our way over in order of the amount that i like these okay so et extraterrestrial i saw this in the theater in 1982 i believe and uh i cried at the end and don't lie if you didn't don't lie if you did. Anyway, you know what I'm saying right there. Don't lie, you did. That's what I meant to say. Bazooka has it all. So this is Bazooka gum from Tops, And um, I'm not going to eat the gum. It's 40 years old almost. It sucks. I've done it before. You've seen me do it before. We're just here for the cards. All right. Are, are there any chases in here? Are there any parallels or inset, inserts? Actually, we've got a sticker. Number 10, he's got a long neck. He's everybody's favorite extraterrestrial. And then you can put a puzzle together as you often can with these types of cards of uh, Drew Barrymore and E.T. with his famous flower pot. Bicycle Chase, here we go. See, nowadays if these were printed, these would there'd be one in here that would be like a different color. It'd be like a, a one of a hundred green parallel or something like that. Back then they had not thought that far ahead. In fact, back then, it was perfectly acceptable to print out uh, a, a trading card of a puppet watching TV in very bad contrast and uh, perfectly fine. Kids would just eat this up and then you get to read a little bit about the story of E.T. Yeah, the air hose. I mean, famous scene. The, the scientists come and they, they cordon off the house and it's all, um, you know, safety and, and environmental or whatever. But literally a picture of the air hose that they walk through. Not even a guy in a suit. Not even Elliot trying to escape. This is what you get from these cards. Present for E.T. with like a side view of both of them. Not even a good composition. Uh, now I'm a photo critic. This is, of course, the famous uh, scene, so at least at least you got that going for you. It's, it's even in the logo. I almost feel like, did they just print the logo uh, on this moon? Or is this actually a still from the movie? It's It looks almost exactly the same, like the like the hood is, is in the same position. It's very strange. And this card, in fact, I don't know if you can tell, has water damage somehow being in the middle of the pack. It got damaged. Maybe this was the one I flipped it over. Maybe it had the gum on it. So this would be like your big chase card because it's the most famous one and it's ruined. That is how it goes. They're home besieged. Yeah, so the, the cops are coming, right? The scientists are coming. Trick or treat. Just a silhouette. Terrible. I'm just going to say that. Okay, so this one's okay. At least it's got an action shot. Uh, the kid in the red jacket is, uh, you know, the focus. You got E.T. all... all uh, buttoned up there oh don't, i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna cry right now uh yeah it's it's i'm over it now present for mom in quotation marks mom in spirit okay next pack of et so I, I didn't check did any of those have a puzzle none of them had a puzzle completed red border puzzle collect all nine cards of puzzle b all right so apparently the puzzle cards are rare because i didn't get any in that pack Interesting to know. Okay, so here's the gum card. I'll at least flip that over and see what that was. Yeah, it's like, like totally ruined on the back there. Elliot's search, right? All right, so flip it. So there's a red puzzle card. Got it. So it's the stickers had the puzzles on them, sure. Um, I always thought, you know, back in 1982, I was a kid. I was fooled by E.T., but now, like, he just looks weird. Cool, there's like a total duplicate. Look how much money they save by just choosing that one photo and putting it on the sticker they didn't even have to work very hard and there's drew's neck and you can read all that if you want off on their mission 
A trail of candy. Yeah, the Reese's Pieces. That was super famous at the time. Quick disguise. Hiding in the in the stuffed animals. The investigators. All right. That's great. Uh, E.T.'s director. What's his name? Gosh, can't remember. Among Elliot's toys. E.T. and the flower. All right. There we go. That's E.T. cards. Moving on to Batman. Number one hit movie. Um, I think I've opened Batman Returns cards, which is the second Tim Burton, right? So this is the original, and uh, I think that by then, they actually had better card printing processes. Oh man, look at this gum. Snap. Not going to do it. All right. Oh, that's cool. Just a red border Batman sticker. Sure. There's puzzles. You can try it. Escape from Flaming Death. That's much worse than regular death, for sure. And the whole thing about Axis Chemicals. City Hall Massacre. Alright, I mean, there's some action going on here. It's not a total waste. Hero and the Horror. I'm Batman. You gotta say it. You have to say it. The Joker's Lair. This is a miscut. I wonder if this is like a super rare error card. Um, but at least, like... Just a picture of Jack Nicholson as the Joker is way more interesting than, like, you know, the the back of people's heads or something. You know what I mean? So, it's decent. Yeah, look at this. You can almost get to the, the other card. I'm going to throw this on one of the Facebook groups. They're going to want it. Batwing Cockpit. Wow. I don't remember ever seeing that view of the bat wing. That must have been when he just jumped right into it. Oh, it's like a whole story. Like a whole story. It's like narrated outside City Hall. Yep, just a bunch of dudes in gray suits hanging out on some steps. Excitement. The gang lords, they're not going to make it. No, I'm melting. Yeah, that's great. Good scene. Daring escape. Great. Okay. And uh, the next pack of Batman cards. Get another red bordered sticker that's ruined by that, that gum right there. It like shattered as I threw it into the box over there. And then a puzzle. So I've got like two puzzle corners. I got a red and a yellow. I've got my work cut out for me tremendously to get that puzzle finished. What are you? I'm Batman. You gotta say it. You have to say it every time. It's like legally binding. There it is down there. A chilling whisper. Oh uh, yeah, this is uh, Jack's old girlfriend. She's not doing so hot. Keep up the bad work. Classic. Classic Joker. Date with Vicky, yeah. Oh, the nostalgia. I love it. Just Commissioner Gordon pointing at something. It's on TV now. Vicky Vale. Kim Basinger. The Slashing Assault. This is like a two-part action card. Is that Bob? You're my number one now, Bob. Rising above it all. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, those are Batman cards. Moving on now. Raiders of the Lost Ark is actually my number one favorite movie of all time. Discuss down below why you're wrong if it's not. It's got everything. It's got high action adventure um a, a humorous hero this is the weirdest big piece of gum i've ever seen they always come in those little strips so that's new these are a little older then right so they'd be like 1980 81 something like that yeah 81 valley of mystery harrison and um the dude who was dr octopus alfred molina yeah you know what i'm talking about he was the guy in that scene temple of the warriors is the next card insect infested jungles of south america cool all right well let's see how the uh the picture composition is there we got the checklist it's got actually a long set it's like 88 cards is this set right destiny of the ark the top men they put it away in the warehouse the vast warehouse right racing for the ark Oh, yeah. Hate snakes. Uh, I believe that's actually a stuntman. And you can kind of tell when you look at it that um, in the still frame like that. Definitely got a more of a mustache there. 
Or am I wrong about that? Like this this particular shot, yeah, there's plexiglass between him and the snake, I think. Again, comment down below. If you're this far into the video, you should probably know a little bit about Raiders of the Lost Ark. Some Nazis. They're, uh, they're just losing popularity all the time. Fleeing the blazing inferno. The Habitos. And <laughs> Disguise. And... Marion's alive. Great. All right, next one. Let's see. If, did we get a giant piece of gum out of that one? That's really weird. Crazy. Yep, it's not fresh, unfortunately. Destiny of the Ark. Got a duplicate. Oh, yeah, that's cool. My favorite scene. He finds the, the Well of the Souls. Key to Eternity. See, a, a better picture would have been the shot of him with the, like, the laser pointing through the crystal. But... That's just me. What do I know? Temple of the Warriors, sure. Reunited. Terror of the Mummies. Whoops. Clue for Indy. Dr. Jones. Victim of the Gods. That was like the first guy that was in the, the temple in the Amazon. Hitching a ride. And Sala. And Belloc. He knows Jovito, so he's got the allies. Great. Kind of like these ones. These are deep. Decent, decent cards. All right, let's do The Empire Strikes Back. Another amazing card. Uh, new series and series three. Well, let's open the original first. Whatever. Whatever. They got quizzes in this one and more gum. Yep, it's the same stuff. Clink, clink. Open it up. Here we go. Dagobah comes to life. Oh, that's like actually like a a set picture there's the crew over here uh interesting so and it was crafted at emi studios in england doesn't everybody know that i actually did not know that apparently star destroyer classic so i believe this hobby which i'm not really that much into the original star wars packs um from 77 you could actually make a little hobby out of that and you pull some of these cards in great condition and get them graded and they're worth something, right? That's not going to be my thing. I'm just here for the lols. RGD2 is Kenny Baker. What extremely important device, don't cheat you guys, uh, does Luke receive at the very end of Empire? Oh, so you have to go to card number 230 to get the answer. And then here's the answer to number 228. What important device? Well, he gets a new hand. Yeah, that's pretty important. You want both of your hands, whether they're robot hands or not. Taking no chances. Lobot's tax. Here's another miscut. Man, this is going to be worth a fortune. Uh, imagine like the cutting process for these back in the day was just shoddy at best. And so those are very common, I'm sure. We got shooting the exciting climax. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Peter... Shishitsky. I might get censored on YouTube for that. Uh, okay, a couple little stickers here. E and I. Uh, e and I. Empire. You get to... You, you can make a sticker collage of the title of the movie, maybe? Hmm, interesting. Mr. Mark Hamill. And, yep, he's battling himself into the carbon freezing pit. Oh, I hope we get a Boba Fett. There he is, right there. The man... Hand faces his fate, and he senses a trap, and then he's a rescuer. It's cool. Yeah, these are fun. Uh, last packs. This is this was series three. That was series one. This is series three. I assume that was series one. It didn't have a series. Just more of the same, I imagine. More still frames and another big piece of gum. That's weird. What is that all about? Let me know down below if you want me to dig that all out of the trash and eat it. The answer is going to be now. Approaching planet Dagobah. So these are yellow instead of white bordered. What a wonderful smell you've discovered. Wait, that's... Hold on. Yeah, that's this is a... That's a quote from the first one. Weird. Okay. Inside the Falcon. So they got, they got pictures of Empire and quotes from A New Hope. Bizarre. Desperate decision. What's so desperate about that? That he's got to trust this little weird dude? 
hasty retreat. He's in the jam. What kind of jam does he like? Marmalade? Their last kiss. More trivia. R and I. So I could almost spell the word. Snowwalker model. So that's going to tell you about the model. Sure, that's what they did to uh, to make this movie happen. Sure. The Wizard of Dagobah. That's funny. Got an RTD. Is that a sticker? No. I got an IG-88. That's cool. Keep those forever. Millennium Falcon miniature and a model Star Destroyer. So that is my blast from the past. You guys can tell I'm stuck in the 80s probably. And uh, had a lot of fun doing it anyway. So thanks for watching as always. Hit that subscribe button. Maybe you'll get to see those Legends pack in the future. Have a good one.